Hello, and welcome to Sobrix. I'm Adam, and this is Sobrix. This is my channel for reviewing LEGO sets and building them, and other LEGO-related stuff. In this video, I'm taking a look at the brand new LEGO City Space Interstellar Spaceship Set. This is set number 60430. It has 240 pieces, and I paid $20 for this set. Now, this is another set that officially releases on January 1st, 2024. It's one of the sets that I was able to get early, uh, and so hopefully this video will be up uh, around then or before then. Uh, I'm not affiliated with any company. I'm not part of the Lego Ambassador Network. I don't get sent promotional sets or anything like that. I paid for this own mon with my own money, but occasionally I'm able to get sets early. This is part of the uh, space uh, Lego kind of branding that is going to be across multiple themes from city and dreams and uh, technic and tons of other stuff. I'm not even sure how many uh, uh, creator three in one I know is going to have one so there's a ton of sets that are going to have kind of this space branding here this is another one of those uh, and in this video I'm going to open this up I'm going to put this together and then I'm going to share my thoughts on it so while I build I will speed the video up and then I'll slow it back down to review this set so until then enjoy Okay, so while we look at the build for this LEGO City Space Interstellar Spaceship, I wanted to say thanks for watching and then remind you if you like the video, click the thumbs up. If you like my channel, click the subscribe. So we start off with the minifigure, we do some little brick built accessories, and then we move on to the kind of hull and the base of the ship using some actually kind of big pieces here, which was pretty cool. Uh, when I was building this, I didn't really know where it was going. There's some functions uh, that I was really surprised to see and I, and I didn't know from leaked images or releases images that uh, kind of came together later in the build that are, were really exciting to me and, and really really cool so I like that a lot we had the wings we had some more shaping stuff to the front uh, and then here we're building out more of kind of this functionality to this uh, set that I think is really cool we finish up with the canopy and some extra little accessories and stuff and uh, that's that so now on to my review for this set Okay, so here is the Lego City Space Interstellar Spaceship. This is awesome. This is really, really cool. Some great techniques, good piece usages. I think there's maybe new pieces, new colors in here. Uh, there's no stickers in this set, so anything you see is printed, which is lovely to see. Um, and there's a good amount of stuff to look at here, so we will get right into it. And the first thing we'll take a look at is the minifigure. Now, if you've seen my other video for the LEGO City Space uh, Space Construction Mech set, uh, you will be a little bit familiar with this uh, minifigure. I believe that one had different arms here, um, but otherwise the torso and the legs are the same. But we have a new helmet piece. This is dual molded. Uh, so the white is actually not just printed, it's a separate plastic there. It does have the kind of space helmet visor as well, so that's very cool. I believe this is a new face printing for this year for the space, and I think it sort of has, uh, they have maybe like a tattoo or so, something, a birthmark, that is uh, like a constellation and different stars right there, which is really cool. No alternate face, no hair piece for this character. I think this piece that is on the back around the neck is a new piece as well uh, and that's very cool I'll take that off just so we can see the back of the uh, torso and I think the back of this torso is actually different than the other one but this torso is really good it has the space logo has some nice fine line detail printing on the midsection printing on the legs including the feet and some asymmetry there looking at the back again really fine printing detail and then we do have this brick built kind of uh, not jetpack necessarily but something kind of like that that we build for this character so it uses some of these like flag elements here uh, it's pretty small but does use some translucent orange maybe some thrust these can be positioned a little bit uh, we have the translucent up there for a light and then we have the kind of opalescent uh, satin translucent there as well as a battery uh, print which also was in the construction mech set and this attaches to that piece just like that. 
And so that's a pretty cool accessory as well. It's a great minifigure. Uh, I'm excited to see more of the kind of new stuff for Lego City Space and just the Lego Space cross theme stuff uh, for 2024. But this is really great, nice to get. And uh, I do like this brick built accessory. And then the rest of the build is this interstellar spaceship. This is awesome. It's got a really nice shape, uh, super swooshable which is great the color choices are really strong really nice I like that there's consistency here with the, the black the white and then kind of either dark bluish gray light bluish gray and this is kind of a teal uh, bluish greenish kind of thing this is using the more uh, updated dark translucent translucent black color there for uh, that and i think this looks uh, terrific so like i said there's no stickers that means this is a print print over here this is a print uh, on the rear we can see we have another battery symbol and this that is a print there and then inside actually where the character may be able to sit this is printed on a translucent thing for kind of a control panel there so that is printed as well there is room in there for the character to sit and uh, this has some some great builds it, stuff it actually uses some kind of big pieces that remind me of like a hull of like a boat or something so the one up here this one at the rear i'm not as familiar with uh connected with some technic pins in there uh and then also with some studded stuff as well you build out the wings those are pretty uh much the same uh, and they're attached with technic uh pins as well um uh, and i wonder can I just pop this off? No. And then uh, we do have these kind of uh, cockpit or like canopy like pieces that are also used for flower petals or, or leaves or something in different sets, but those are clipped on there. So maybe to increase drag or something like that. These can also, these are on hinges here. So these can also be uh, angled to get the appropriate shape there. I think this looks awesome. Uh, really nice color choices and really nice color blocking. I think it's got a great profile, a great footprint. It looks great head on, very sleek, very fast very interstellar ish as an interstellar spaceship uh, this piece here that's I think this is the new color same for this piece here I believe that is a new color that's kind of an orangish brownish reddish kind of stuff but it's not as far as I can tell like ketone orange and it's not uh, the same as some of the other oranges so I think that's a new color this also is a piece that I'm kind of unfamiliar with it's similar to some other pieces but uh, it has these bars like raised up from where the uh, kind of plate elements are so uh, that was kind of unique we do get some of the extra uh, or some of those um, satin translucent uh, round pieces there as well and then there's some really cool functionality of this which you may have already seen so uh, looking at the rear we have like what looks like some thrusters with that uh, kind of orange translucent there at the back but what you can do is you push down on this battery thing here and it opens up the back there so uh, that's really cool. It's stopped by some of these things on the side there. So these pieces are hinged together. This one is clipped on. And the mechanism for that is really elegant, but really, really simple. And it's a super cool effect. So essentially, underneath uh, this kind of battery pack thing, we have the... Uh, let's see if I... Can I get that out? Um, let me see if I can get this thing out of here. Maybe I cannot. Oh, I don't think I can. But, um, pop this off. And maybe you could have seen it in the build, but underneath this kind of roundish piece here, we have this piece uh, with these kind of angled pieces that goes in upside down and then this kind of piece at the back has those like modified plates with the rail on it and then there's kind of the bricks that receive the rail in there then there's the rounded piece down at the bottom so when this is put in there and pushed down it pushes that sled back which then pushes all these uh, pieces outward like that 
Then when you add this round, uh, you know, circle plate there, it keeps everything uh, kind of locked in because it does have that square plate in there. And then this piece here, I think is relatively new or unfamiliar to me at least. And then uh, that can all be attached to hold everything together. And then I thought this was really unique because this had the upside down like anti studs there as the button. Um, but we add this piece on top, we connect it with the round kind of two by two jumper there like so. And then that acts, that's like a battery pack that kind of gets engaged by pushing it in and that opens us up to maybe like hyperdrive or to travel you know interstellarly or intergalactically super satisfying super simple but it just works it's a really cool transformation even though it's very simple it does feel like you know you could be playing with this and then and it could go uh, off into space. So I think that's really cool. I'm not too worried about anything coming off. Uh, it looks great in either formation and it's super, super fun, super cool. Uh, there's not a great place for the kind of accessory to uh, be. I think, um, let me get them in here. I want to say they can wear their back piece and their helmet when they're in there and let's test that here so we put them in there so they have their helmet and their piece that's around the neck that attaches to this in there there's not a good place to store this uh, so I would have liked to see some place to put this but uh, it's not too too crucial uh that's just something to consider and uh other than that i think this is a super fun place that i think it looks great uh it's going to match a lot of the other lego city space stuff and maybe some of the other space stuff overall this is a super well designed ship uh, a lot of fun to build a lot of fun to play with uh, not too difficult but um it does have some some cool stuff that i maybe not uh, i haven't seen as often or haven't seen uh used and done in this way the minifigure is uh very good i would say and uh the fact that it has no stickers is a huge uh, a plus for me so that's really really cool I think the functionality is great and uh, this is just a real winner uh, so that's terrific to see I'll show the extra pieces because you do get some uh, and you get the yellow pin here the kind of half circle one by two rounded tile there uh, without the jumper stud in the middle you get those uh, you get some translucent stuff here and then you do get an extra of that battery print uh, there as well which is good to get those so those are the extra pieces always nice and then this set is 240 pieces for $20 uh, I think this is a, a wonderful set for a good price you know comparing this to some of the great vehicle sets that I think start retailing around $20 uh, and then you know you can maybe get them on sale for like $16 20% off I think this is really cool. Maybe my like favorite out of the ones I've built. As far as a $20 city set goes, I actually feel like I really got my money's worth here. It is only one minifigure, which isn't that bad, but like something like the Penguin Slushy van or the Family Camper van or whatever, uh, I think often come with uh, more than one minifigure. I don't know if they're as interesting as this one or as cool or as detailed. Uh, this one does have, I think, some new stuff, so maybe recolors, new pieces, new colors in general. Uh, all prints, uh, no stickers, so that's a huge plus. And uh, you know, 240 pieces for $20 feels about right. I have to say, this, as far as its footprint goes, its overall size, its weight, its heft, it kind of feels pretty good for a $20 set. Uh, and I think, you know, there are some bigger pieces in this set, you know, especially these ones for the hull or the fuselage there, some bigger ones back here, as well as some bigger plates, uh, and then all the printed pieces. So uh, these big kind of slope pieces here. So it's not that it's just a ton of tiny pieces that make up the 240 piece count. Uh, so there are some bigger pieces in here. Uh, the canopy is really, really nice, well produced. Uh, and so I think this is actually a solid value and maybe uh, this is one of the one of the times where Lego actually like 
does something that is is good value great value maybe at retail uh you know occasionally you you'll find a set like that i thought the 20 dollars jurassic park set from last year uh was pretty good like the dilophosaurus ambush i thought that was a great set for twenty dollars uh some of the indiana jones sets i thought were really really strong for uh their price point and and so it's kind of up in the air sometimes things feel way overpriced sometimes not i've kind of felt that city has an interesting pricing scheme to me as someone who's like not super super familiar with city but at this point i've built some of the more recent stuff uh in cities and i, I try to find those on sale this uh was like an instant buy for me and i think it totally is worth it i think twenty dollars is like the a really really good price for this i could have seen them putting it at, at higher and i'm so glad that they didn't uh so i really really think this is great super fun super cool good value so uh i love this set this is uh this is really great so hopefully this kind of stuff continues uh into the uh, year of 2024 because uh this is really terrific and i think the value kind of speaks for itself there's some really awesome stuff here so really great if you like this video, please click the thumbs up. And if you like my other videos, click the subscribe button so you can stay up to date on all the Lego videos I'll be doing here in the future, including more Lego City, more space stuff across all different themes for this year, but then tons of other sets, new sets for 2024, old sets, retired sets, uh, exclusive sets for different things. So tons of other stuff. So subscribe so you don't miss any of those upcoming Lego videos. And if you want to support this channel and support my videos here, you can do that right here on YouTube with membership supers and thanks all of that wonderful stuff uh, helps me a lot every little bit helps so thank you very much and i still have the patreon it's patreon.com slash so bricks it's also in the video description on my channel page uh, again you can get access to like all my videos early before they're published publicly on youtube uh, as well as some other exclusive stuff there so it, it does help me a lot and i appreciate uh each and every little bit so thank you very much and with all that said until next time thanks bye